Welcome to Picture Healer Channel. This is Shi Tian. Today we are going to talk about some simple ideas you can try to bring in better luck, especially around Chinese New Year. The first idea is about your wallet. Since we put money in our wallet and carry everywhere, our wallet reflects our attitude towards the money. So, what kind of wallet do you have? So the point here is to check your wallet to see if it's still in good shape. Is it at the end of its life cycle? And the new year is always a good time to get a new wallet. And another thing about the wallet is the arrangement of your bills and the coins. Do you have all the bills crumbled up, or is it in a neat order? With all the bigger dollar bills on one side, and then going down to smaller bills, and some people even have all the heads facing the same direction. The idea is that if you can take care of your wallet and keep it organized and clean, you send a message to the universe that you are ready to manage more money, and、uh, you have good relationship with your money. And we all want to know what's the best color for a wallet to bring in more money luck. And in general, red, gold are typically happy color for Chinese, and they are always related to abundance and happiness. And the blue and black are also nice color because it's a water element, and water is related to money in Feng Shui. And another way to choose color is to match the color of your currency in your country. If your hundred dollar bill is green, then green is a good choice. In America, green is a color that's closely related to money, so that's also a color choice for you. The next idea to bring in better luck is to carry some type of jade or crystals. A green jade is a very traditional item that Chinese people like because it's supposed to bring you protection and、uh, good luck. And a natural crystal is another choice that's getting more and more popular these days because the natural crystal is not as expensive as precious stones such as a diamond, but it's still powerful because of the natural energy. So you can wear crystal jewelry or carry crystal as a keychain or as a charm to raise your energy and bring you protection. And besides jade and crystal, there are all types of lucky charms in different materials and different shapes and sizes. If there's an item that speaks to you or is meaningful to you, then it's a good idea for you to carry or display in your house. To bring you that special connection, and popular lucky charms include the traditional Chinese animals such as the pisho or dragon or qilin or the fu dog, because they all bring you some type of protection and good luck. And another type is simply the symbol of good luck, such as Chinese ingot or the money god or the Chinese gourd. And depends on your cultural background, you can find different lucky objects and symbols you can carry just to bring you extra energy and luck. And the next idea is to wear something special for the new year, and it typically means wearing red or even gold in Chinese culture because that's a very bright color and it should bring in more positive energy. It used to be a popular belief that you should wear red underwear during Chinese New Year, especially good if you are trying to gamble and you need that extra luck. I'm not sure if it works for everyone, but it really doesn't hurt to try. So for the New Year time, the idea is to wear something more special and maybe more luxury compared to your everyday wear. And that can bring you new energy for the new year. And the next popular one is to display lucky words. 
even a simple one like a spring or prosperity or happiness. Chinese people like to have the paper cut out of the lucky words and uh, tape it on the window or on the door. Or you can go with lucky poetry that's positive with the hint of prosperity and good fortune for the year. A similar idea is to display inspirational quotes or some type of words that's inspiring to you or images that's inspiring. It acts like a visual reminder and also like a vision board. So you can stay focused every time you see the inspirational words and images. The next idea is very simple. Just display more fresh flowers, more fruit and healthy plants around the house because flowers and plants are easy way to bring in the lively energy of nature. And the new year is a good time to ensure you have abundant positive energy around your house. Fruit or any type of food in general can be the symbol of abundance too, especially around the new year time. Make sure you have plenty of food and fresh fruit to ensure you have an abundant year. And the most popular fruits will be orange and apple or anything with bright colors. The next one is to set up a money altar. If you haven't set up any type of money altar or money corner, Chinese New Year is a good time to set it up. If you already have one, it's a good time to see if you need to update anything or replace anything. The most popular location of the money altar is around the money corner. That's the 45 degrees from your entrance. And it usually means the living room area. The far corner diagonally from you is the money corner. Or you can set it up near the entrance. It's also a good location to receive better energy and enhance the money luck. When you pick the place to set up your money altar, make sure it has a solid support in the back, such as a wall or a corner. And if it's a glass window or a door, it's not the best location. But you can always add a furniture, maybe a cabinet or a table to stop the qi flow so the money energy can stay longer there. And you can add anything that's auspicious. We can have a money jar to deposit all the loose changes. Every time you come home from outside, you can place your loose changes here. That's a symbol of the money circulating. Other popular objects to display include the money frog, or the money toad, or Qilin Pi Shou, or Levin Buddha. And the last tip to get the extra luck for the new year is to help other people. The easiest way is to donate your money or donate your time, or you can just help anybody around your daily life. Or if you have a special charity that you care a lot, maybe it's time to do something for them. When we can help other people without thinking about returns, we are planting the seeds for the future. And when we have the ability to help other people, our problems seem to be less significant. And in many Chinese feng shui books, people believe this might be the best way to enhance your luck for the long term. The Lunar New Year is the best time to do some charity work or help people. It doesn't matter how small the act is. So that's the eight ideas you can try around Chinese New Year or any time of the year to bring you better energy and better luck. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you next week. Thank you for watching.